the U.S. Grand Hotel. News 8's Shannon Handy is live downtown with that part of our story. The protesters were out in force downtown along with hundreds of people hoping to get a peek at the president. News 8's Alicia Summers was among the crowd and she'll have that. And the president got a first-hand look at the 14 miles of replacement fence along the border in Otay Mesa. News 8's Heather Hope is live along the border with more on that. We begin tonight's coverage, though, with Shannon Handy downtown. Shannon? Beverly and Carlo, for much of the day, streets downtown were blocked off for the president's visit. He arrived here to the U.S. Grant about 45 minutes later than expected, leaving around 2.30, so things are now back to normal. Now, I had a chance to speak with several people who were inside that lunge, and they say they were impressed by what the president had to say. Outside downtown's U.S. Grand Hotel Wednesday. That's for News 8's Heather Hope joins us now with more on that part of the visit. Heather? And we had the tamer of the president's tours here. First, him going to Brownfield, open to a couple dozen supporters there before making his way down to Otay Mesa here along the border to check out the border wall. Here's what the president had to say. That it really is virtually impenetrable. Uh, any walls that were put up would get knocked down very quickly, very easily. This wall is not something that can be really knocked down. I guess anything can, but this is very tough. To a crowd of a couple dozen supporters who were so excited to see him. He gave us a couple thumbs up, and it was just the best feeling that it was a dream come true. Pumped to see Trump. I have so many Trump things. My whole family's all a Trump family. Liberty Bloom of Santee and her friends were ecstatic to see the president make his way to the South Bay, landing at Brown Field. I just want to be president to be a miniature of him when I'm older. Coming down to the Otay Mesa border crossing, the president rode in a lengthy motorcade. All before getting a chance to see the border barrier up close. This is going to be close to 500 miles by the time we finish. The president admired the 30-foot tall steel wall. This wall is not something that can be really knocked down. Trump took the time to sign the wall. I'm out here to uh, support our president and uh, show him my support. I think it's a good thing. I think he needs to show people what he's doing, uh, what his focus is, and to be in public doing this is the right thing to do for him. No loud protesters at the border, but close to a dozen Trump supporters showed up to see the president pass by. The president said come next year there will be 500 miles of the border wall here along the Otay Mesa crossing. So now for a look of the president's visit in downtown, I'll send it down to Shannon Handy.